Welcome to the channel friends. So today is going to be another Corvette related video and I'm going to be covering the Comp Cam's BSR shaft rocker system and the reasons why I purchased it for my LS9 build. As you can see here in the workshop I have all sorts of stuff apart. I have the supercharger off and I will be doing some max effort porting on the stock 2.3 liter supercharger for the LS9 doing K-Tech CNC ported heads. I'm doing a stage four cam from Brian Tooley, doing a smaller pulley, a 2.175 grip tech, and uh, larger injectors and kind of all the supporting mods uh, to run the E85 possibly. So I have here all sorts of goodies. I got the Johnson race lifters. These are the reduced travel type. Uh, these are extremely hard to get right now. There's a shortage on lifters. No matter where you go, uh, you're going to find everything sold out. But I was lucky to get a set, and I'm really happy because these are awesome lifters. I may go ahead and do a review video on these. If you guys would like, let me know. So these run about $600, and they fit all your LS uh, applications that have a 842 thousandths uh, diameter uh, bore for the uh, for the lifter so I might do a review on those coming up but today we're gonna talk about the comp cams BSR my thoughts my initial impressions on it and uh, we'll, we'll talk about this too right here so alright so welcome back here is the BSR shaft rocker system laid out and um, the reasons why I purchased this is because I needed something that fits under the stock valve covers on my LS9 now, there's a lot of options out there when it comes to shaft rocker systems that cost a thousand, two thousand dollars. Uh, but the thing is, they do not fit under a stock LS9 valve cover, which limits your um, choices quite a bit. So, going with a factory design, factory rocker, is a good idea because you can utilize your stock valve covers. Um, there's a couple other options, you know, going roller tip rocker arm like Yellow Terra or um, Scorpion or going with like the Comp Cams version that uses a roller tip. But the thing is, those add height to the actual valve train and most situations like the LS9, you cannot add a taller valve cover like on like big blocks and you know, have this big tall valve cover. So it's really frustrating, um, you know, finding upgraded rockers uh, for this engine build that I'm doing on the LS9. So I have a stage 4 cam. I have more lift. I have 629, 600 on the lift. And uh, I want something more stable at higher RPM, which is what exactly this is going to offer. Anything, once you get past like 5,000 RPM and up, um, the stock rocker is very unstable. And um, naturally, like the LS3 and LS9 style and LS7 rockers, the intake is offset, so that means it's side loading. So that's a very kind of you know bad thing to be doing on you know on the rocker arm because if it's not stiff, it's going to wear in a lot more than uh, a traditional rocker arm that would be straight on like the exhaust one. So talking about why would you do this now over a Trunnion kit? Well, the Trunnion kit, especially the CHE one, which is a bronze bushing type trunnion kit upgrade uh, is good, but the thing is it does not tie in your rockers. To have the ultimate stability at high RPM, you need to tie in all the rockers on the same shaft. Um, that's just the best way of doing it. Now the yellow terrors have a small shaft um, that a pair will tie into, uh, but the yellow terrors um, have their own issues like they are made of aluminum the body itself and I'm not putting aluminum bodied rocker arms in my car because they eventually will fatigue and they cannot handle uh, the pressure uh, from higher spring rates. So I want to stick with steel bodied rocker arms, something that's stable uh, at a high RPM. So that's why it led me to this. This is a shaft rocker system that uses bushings. So there's tri-layer bushings on this. Each one of these have a bushing and they are very tight, but they do operate freely. So very smooth, but there's no deflection. It's only play side to side. And the good thing is that these all have a washer um, 
in between the rocker body and the circlip here the, on the shaft. So what that's going to do is prevent um, less friction as this thing is rotating. So the bushings are really nice. I can tell you just by rotating them by hand that they feel so good. Bushings are going to offer less deflection uh, and compared to needle bearings. Um, but this is going to work great because, like I said, I have to keep the stock valve covers. And I cannot have anything with an adjuster on there that's going to raise the height of that because I just don't have enough room. The alternator and the power steering pump sit right over the valve covers on the LS9. Uh, so it poses a big problem. You would have to do all sorts of, um, you know, different things to make it work if you were to get taller valve covers, uh, which means you have to put spacers on either the alternator or the power steering pump and get a different size belt and all sorts of stuff. And then put spacers in between um, the valve cover and the head. So I don't want to deal with that. I wanted something that was factory and um, that was an upgrade. So this is kind of the ultimate upgrade. Uh, if you're keeping the stock valve covers. Uh, now the rocker arms, they look like they're a factory rocker arm, but they're actually more skeletonized and possibly lighter weight than the factory one. So I have a factory one here. And as you can see, the window in the middle here is a lot smaller on the OEM factory one. And the windows on this one are more, much more open. So with that being more open, that means that the rocker arm is lighter weight and it's strong in the places that it needs to be strong. So Comp Cams did a great job, I think, designing these. I wish they offered these with a roller tip because uh, when using bronze guides, uh, they recommend using a roller tip because there's less friction in the drivetrain, in the valve train, sorry. Um, so you want to, you know, essentially stiffen up everything, get everything really stable. Make sure there's not side loading happening with the rocker arm. And um, I think this is going to be a great ticket because, you know, part of the issue with the LS motors with the dropping a valve thing is that the concentricity of the valve seat is not concentric to the valve guide. And um, the action, the side loading action and the scrubbing action of a stock rocker arm um, does not help in any way. It actually can make the, the situation worse like it does in an LS7s. So um, with this being a much stiffer valve train and much more stable, um, I have high hopes of this being kind of the ticket for my application. And I'm really happy to see that this is going to work because um, there's really nothing else, like I said, shaft, sh shaft mounted like this that's going to work in an LS9 unless you spend big money uh, and get tall valve covers and do all sorts of custom work. So I'm really happy with the construction on this. Like I said, there's oiling holes on either side threaded already. So if you want to go ahead and do a, uh, a pressurized oil system, you can do that. Um, they're just, they're really high quality. You know, everything is nice and tight on here. The shaft is nice and thick and it's going to brace the cylinder head really nice. So it's going to be great for those higher boost applications, turbocharged, supercharged, whatever. But So these are called the max lift. So they're saying you can go up to 675 lift with these because they're so stable. Okay, there's no deflection uh, pretty much because of the stability of the shaft uh, mounted feature on the rocker arms. Uh, they mount the same way with a bolt right through the center on the common shaft. So you have great mounting um, kind of accessibility and the ability to mount this like a normal set of rockers. So what I want to do now is actually measure the weight of the rocker tip. So this here, I want to show you really quick. This is a PRW uh, billet rocker arm stand. It works great with this setup. They fit right in. So I'm going to use this to uh, set up here for the scale. All right, so let's go ahead and take a measurement on the intake rocker. Let's see if we can get something. Let me go ahead and tear this out. So we have about seven and a half grams on the intake.
I'm just picking the one that like rotates the, the most freely. That way it sits on the scale better. So exhaust, we have six grams. So intake was seven and a half. Exhaust was six grams on the BSR. Now let's go ahead and do the stock rockers. So the intake, we have 7.1. The exhaust, we have 7.3. So very comparable weights when it comes to the tip weight on the nose. Um, that's just something I wanted to add in there, show you guys what the weights are. So let's... Let's bring this back and mount this back up on the stand. They fit in there just right. It works really good. So it's really a great fit for this. All right. Also, one of the selling points for this type of system versus any other type of trunnion upgrade or uh, rocker system is that it makes your cam act like a bigger cam or make sure it can act like it's true to what it is like the the actual lift that you're getting from the from the cam lobe um it translates that power directly into the valve versus it being lost in deflection um side loading and general hysteresis of the rocker arm at high rpm so it basically communicates the camshaft better uh, because the ability of less deflection. Um, and that's the reason why you can run a higher lift with this shaft rocker system and not have to go roller tip according to comp cams. So I'm really happy to have this here and to try it out in my LS9. I will see how it performs uh, with bronze guide specifically because that is a concern of mine uh, since this is not a roller tip. Uh, but time will tell on that. I'll install it and um, I'll give my review down the road. So essentially, this is the ultimate Trunnion upgrade. Uh, you can't get better than this when it comes to um, stability and less deflection and having all your rockers tied in together. Uh, this is where this really shines and the ability to pressurize oil the whole system. So with that being said, I can't wait to install this on my LS9 and give you guys, um, you know, a one year or a two year review on this and uh, see how it holds up to my bronze guides. That's it for the review. Um, as it stands, I will go ahead and be doing more uh, videos when it comes to the LS9 build that I'm doing. I'm doing the KTEC CNC ported heads, uh, cam, also smaller pulley, you know, and possibly the setup for the E85. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any more questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.